So Texas Children's Hospital is the largest pediatric hospital in the United States. One of the things that's unique about the renal program here at Texas Children's Hospital is the fact that we provide care in a long continuum from prenatal setting to transition to adulthood. We take innovation seriously because the burden of kidney disease is very, very high. And so whatever we can do to relieve that burden, we try to do. Texas Children's Critical Care Nephrology Program is a novel approach in pediatrics. Uh, examples of critical care nephrology programs exist in adult services and other institutions. However, in the pediatric world, we're the first to be able to combine the expertise of intensive care with nephrology. So the focus of the chronic dialysis program is really on the growth and development of children with end-stage renal disease. This requires a multifaceted approach that involves not only the medical management of end-stage renal disease, but also an interdisciplinary team that helps address the needed factors to promote growth and development. So we formed a group called Renal Extracorporeal Quality Initiative, which we refer to as RECI. The RECI team is a big team of multiple individuals that meet once a month in order to re review uh, homegrown quality metrics. In addition to that, the smaller RECI teams make rounds three times a week um, and actually uh, meet at the bedside of patients in order to get real-time feedback from bedside nurses as well as the families in order to try to identify areas where we can actually provide some real-time improvement. My primary role in recce rounds is to ensure that the patient is actually uh, receiving the appropriate type and amount of nutrition support. Uh, my role is unique just due to the fact that I'm solely assigned to the critical care nephrology group itself. I think it would be hard to find another institution, even in the adult realm, that only has one dietitian assigned to such a unique subset population. Another unique program that we have here at Texas Children's Hospital is extracorporeal liver support. We are a big liver transplant center and patients who have advanced liver failure tend to have multiple organ failure requiring extracorporeal support. Traditional dialysis and other advanced measures are absolutely essential in order to keep children healthy enough to be able to bridge them to ultimate cure, which is transplant. And we opened the program in 2014. Since then, we have been able to bridge 16 children to transplant and two children to complete recovery using our extracorporeal liver support system. So one of the things that I'm most proud of in terms of care delivery uh, by the renal service here is our focus on patient and family-centered care. We have a strong and well-established quality of life program here in our renal department. We started a little over two decades ago with our quality of life program and we currently have a huge team. The health-related quality of life program here at Texas Children's Hospital may be the most important work that we do. The healing arts are especially important in a uh, drug and technology-based uh, treatment area. We have complemented our program with arts and health. A part of our arts and health program are artists and creative arts therapists. We are privileged to have a music therapist in our program who is dedicated to the renal program. And then we also have other members of our team such as our school liaison and she her position actually came about as a result of some of our quality of life program work. So we were able to see that our patients were really struggling in the area of academics and school. And then because of that, we were able to hire our school liaison and now she's able to work and help our patients get what they need in the medical piece in the school setting as well. And we've, as a result, seen improvement in our patient scores on quality of life testing in the school domain because of that. One of the special opportunities we have for our children with end-stage renal disease, which include not only our children on dialysis, but also our transplant patients, is the opportunity to take them to camp. This is one opportunity for them to be normal children in a setting where their medical care is taken care of and um, explore who they are in a safe environment. 
I have also had the very fortunate experience of attending the World Transplant Games with some of our transplant patients, and I found that to be another very rewarding and very eye-opening experience. The Transplant Games of America and the World Transplant Games both serve to educate our community about the importance and value of transplantation. These games really highlight the um, transplant athlete and their abilities and I am honored to go as a supporter. We all learn every time we go. I learn more about the patients and that's probably one of my, my biggest privileges is to listen to the patients, learn from them and put in more uh, uh, interventions related to relieving the burden of illness. Through Arts and Health, through interactions with our writing specialists, through the development of poetry, through interaction with our therapy dog, Elsa, through interactions with music therapy, our children have the opportunity to express their fears, but also their dreams and their hopes.